Are there any simple solutions to aggression? Yes and no. The simplest, as you suggested a minute ago, is to walk away, right? Mm -hmm. Just walk away. Um, and that's if you feel threatened, if you see your partner or someone you're with getting aggressive, you know, just walk away. That's the easy solution. The problem with that solution, and the reason it doesn't work in all cases, is it's a, it's a very, very passive response. Mm -hmm. You're letting the person control you, your moment. You know, wherever you were, that was where you had chosen to be at that moment. If you're walking away from it, it means that you are responding to that person's physical dominance of you, and, um, or, or mental dominance, or emotional dominance, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, walk away once, okay, but if it's a pattern where you've always walked away, then you have to come back and very, use the word assertively, confront it and say, hey, you know, what's going on? Um, and so that's from the victim's point of view, which is, yes, you can walk away. You can come back and try to confront it with the aggressor um, in, a, in a calm, collected, assertive way. By assertive, I mean you stand up for your rights, you accept the other person's rights but you don't let your rights get trampled over and you don't trample over the other person's, even when you get mad, right? Um, but, okay, so that's that's from the victim's side. But if you are mm -hmm. the perfect, if you are the person mm -hmm. who finds that you must yell to be heard, uh, then you need to recognize something about what's going on inside you and the way that it works. Usually when we think about feelings, uh, we talk about fear, right? On a scale from one to 10. How afraid are you? Or how much do you love me? On a scale from one to 10. And we think of things on a fairly linear scale, going up like that. Mm -hmm. Man doesn't really work that way. Anger doesn't really work that way. Anger works, you're like that, and then like that. When you lose it, right? Because it's like, it's one more thing, one more thing, and I'm controlling it, I'm controlling it. And then it's like, boom! And then I'm pissed, and I'm out of control. Because then I'm in a primal man state, primal woman state, of, okay, something is going to have to die, and then I'll be happy again, right? That's, that's the rage state that can drive so much terrible, terrible aggression. And so the person that is trying to learn how to manage it on their own has to spend the time to start learning their own states of arousal. And by arousal, I'm talking about response to triggers that make you very afraid, that make you very angry, that drive you to these very aggressive behaviors. And just, you can put it on however you want to do it. It's like, okay, well, my breathing gets rapid. That's a three. When my voice goes up, that means I'm at six. And I know that if I get to seven, I'm going to lose it, right? Yeah. So then that person can say, hey, look, you know what? I'm having a real tough time with this right now. Uh, give me a few minutes to calm down. We'll come back to this, all right? Yeah. And then, and then you can engage in deep breathing. There's a ton of ways to self-regulate and bring yourself back to, to, to calm. Uh, some people pray, some people meditate, some people take a walk, uh, some people just find their happy place and think about a beautiful day uh, that went, you know, so there's a, a many, many ways to regain your calm, but it all starts with knowing you're losing your calm. Yeah. And most people that suffer from aggression aren't tracking that. They just, they just think they, they, they weren't. And then you talk to them afterwards and they, they're just not aware. It's like, you know what? I just snapped. I had no idea it was coming. I wasn't expecting it, right? Yeah. And that's because they're not very aware of their internal state. They're not aware of how they're, of what's going on inside of them. Yeah. And so that is, um, that's that.